An onion gravy should be thick, glossy and have onions in. Hi guys, what we're going to do, we're going to make our onion gravy, okay? Now you see everywhere on menus, caramelized red onion gravy. You know, an onion gravy is an onion gravy, whether you use red onions or white onions. By the time you've caramelized it and mixed it all up with your gravy granules or beef stock and flour and cooked it, it's an onion gravy. So let's show you how to make an onion gravy. Let's do this. Okay guys, like I say, this has to have onions in, you know. How many times have you had onion gravy and it's very watery? Now, take your onions. Now you make a decision which way you want to slice these. You can either slice them thinly across, um, which was gonna give you long, thin pieces of onion in there. Or you can decide whether you want to Cube it up. Now the choice is yours, okay? And I'll just show you both. And we'll just chuck both in, in this group onion gravy. So if you want to cube it, just slice it through, obviously. And then we're going to slice it across into cubes. Now the choice is yours whether you want long, thin pieces of onion or cubed onion in your gravy. Whichever way you decide, Make sure you chop all your onions the same way. If not, you're going to get two different cuts of onion in your gravy. So what I'll do, I will just finish the onions my normal way, which is sliced across. I mean, it's very easy, really. All we want is some thin slices. It just makes it easy to cook in the pan. And do the same with a red onion, but like I say in the intro, you know, an onion's an onion by the time you've caramelized it, cooked it down with flour and stock to make our gravy. We're still going to have a brown gravy with onions in, not some of this watery gravy you get out when you go out for a meal. Now an onion gravy should be thick, glossy and have onions in. Simple really. Okay, so what we need to do, We've chopped our onions, we need to get a pan on. Now we need to put a little bit of oil in our pan. Now we don't want too much, but we obviously we want some oil in there to help cook the onions. And we want a good knob of butter in there because we want that lovely richness through our gravy. So just heat that up together. And then what we need to do is add our onions. Now, put all our onions in there. Just give it a quick turn over. You know, now if it catches a little bit as we're cooking, that's fine, but we do not really want to be burning any of these onions. You know, we're not making hot dogs. We're making a gravy. So what we need to do is cook this low and slow and caramelize these onions. Now you can take it down as much as you want. So just add a bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Now that's going to help our onions sweat down in there as we're cooking and release the moisture. So like I say, you can cook this down as much as you want. Just cook it low and slow. Now we're not trying to blacken the onions, we're trying to brown the onions, soften and brown. Just add some brown sugar in there, stir it all in, that's going to help with the sweetness of the onions. Now these onions will actually cook down beautifully. So low and slow, I mean, this could even actually take up to about 10 minutes, guys, you know. And then when your onions are brown, we want to go in with our flour. Now, stir it through gently and then cook out the rawness. 
If we stir it straight through to the bottom of the pan, it's going to burn. So through the onions nice and gently, so it's sticking to the onions if you like. And then cook it low and slow, and then what we need to do is go in with our beef stock. Now this is only a couple of cubes, or you can use gravy granules. But anyway, you want a couple of cups of fluid and just stir it in there and that'll lift all the flour and debris off the bottom of the pan back into our onion gravy so that is our flavor coming back in there now all we got to do now add a dash of Worcester sauce now don't worry about it tasting sour or anything like that in the beef gravy or in our gravy it makes a fantastic underlying flavor and then all we need to do is just cook our gravy low and slow until it thickens to our desired consistency now if you want it watery add a little bit more water but an onion gravy should be thick glossy and have onions in so that's our onion gravy guys that is so so easy to make a delicious onion gravy oh here we are guys unbelievable that is unbelievable we've got sweet caramelized onions in there and it's got a great sweetness going through there guys fantastic beefy type flavor that is an amazing gravy mm. I could eat that with a spoon or dip in some bread it is amazing Mm. now guys if you like what we're doing you would like to subscribe that'd be fantastic till next time take care